What's popping, homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl, and today I'm coming in to talk to you about Elizabeth Candace Laird, um, known as Candy. Now, this was requested by one of my subscribers named Prabella. I'm sorry I'm late, girl, but I have a lot going on over here. So let's just jump into it, okay? Elizabeth Candace Laird, um, known as Candy by those closest to her, envisioned a life of helping others before her own life was taken. The 27-year-old Detroit woman was weeks away from completing her degree as a surgical technician and dreamed of becoming a nurse when her body was discovered at about 9 a.m. in a dumpster after police were called to the scene by someone who reported blood in an elevator at a nearby apartment building. Okay. Whew. She didn't deserve this, her mother said. Her name is Diane Can. Diane, Diana Can. Um, she had told the outlet, my daughter was bright. Um, she was intelligent. She always wanted to be someone special um and in you know in life and that's crazy you know it's just you know i've read so many stories after i you know researched some stuff on this I, i've researched on a lot of stories about missing people and people who just their lives get taken for no reason and you won't believe how many cases are out there some are cold cases some cases you know are solved but it's just can you imagine getting a phone call saying, you know, hello, Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so, we found somebody that may be related to you. <sighs> Can you, that feeling is awful. That's an awful feeling, okay? She said, my daughter was bright, intelligent, and she wanted to be someone special in life. And I could just only imagine how she said that. The victim's older brother, Curtis, told the news station, it's the worst feeling I've ever felt in my life. I'm broken up into a million pieces. Detroit Police Chief James Craig described suspect James Quill as Cockerham as a career criminal. Now, Cockerham, James Quill, he is the one that did this to this girl. Okay? He the ones that did this. And they did arrest him. They did arrest um. Cockerham. They did arrest him. That violent, predatory, cowardly suspect is now in custody, he said. Police were alerted. Um, reports of blood in the elevator at the Parkview Towers and Square apartment building and later said that Candy and Cockerham had been seen together inside an elevator in the building. Now, she was going there to visit someone, and I do believe she was going there to visit her boyfriend. The victim's family said she had been there at the gated building visiting her boyfriend, okay? It was not clear how Cockerham gained, gained entry, and he probably snuck in some type of way. Because if it's, if it's a gated community, um, you know, you, gotta need, you need some type of, like, car to get in or a code. So how did he get in there, and what was he even doing in there? The Wayne County Medical Examiner's Office listed, um, listed, excuse me, Candy's manner of death as compressive, compressive asphyxia, and ruled it a homicide. Prior convictions for Cockerham included the, those for weapon charges, criminal sexual conduct, armed robbery, and car theft, and he is a registered sex offender, according to the court records. He was being held. Um, that morning in Detroit, in the Detroit Detention Center, almost got tongue tied, awaiting formal charges after his arrest on suspicion suspicion of parole violation and murder. A jail spokesman told uh, had told People Magazine that no bond was listed, and it could be it could not be determined if he entered a plea or acquired an attorney who might speak on his behalf. Mm mm mm. He should have never been let out in the first place. And I do agree with that. I do agree. He should never have been let out. Looking at my baby in a casket, I think that's going to be the hardest thing in my life that I ever have to do. And Candy's mother told the outlet that. No parents should have to bury their child. You know what I'm saying? 
she was going there to visit her boyfriend. This slime of the earth was in the elevator with her. How did he even get in there? Like I said, he snuck in there some type of way. He probably saw Candy go in there and had ill intentions and got in there some type of way. And, you know, they was on the elevator together and he did what he did. Oh, I tell you. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. She recalled her daughter as someone who wanted to save lives. A family friend, Michael Hines, said she was a great young lady and I loved her. She had a bright future. She was going to school to be in the nursing field. She told me she was going to make something of herself. You shouldn't kill no one like that. You shouldn't kill anyone at that point. And then you thrown away like garbage. The police chief said, we pray for that young lady and it should have never happened in the first place. It shouldn't have. He should have never been out. He should have never been out. Never been out. You hear me? Mm -mm. And this happened, um, this happened in 2019. I believe I believe this happened in 2019 but you know sometimes we come across things that we never heard of because I never heard of this story I think I've heard bits and pieces of this story but I didn't get the full you know thing of it but I'm glad that you know pre Bella requested for me to do a story on this and um I'm glad I did I'm glad I did because you know now I know there's something else that I didn't really know fully of and I like to find stories like that to tell talk to you guys Okay, so let's see if we can find any information on this Cockerham person. Um, he's a horrible person. Horrible. How could you do that? How could you do that? How could you just kill somebody for no reason at all? He didn't know her. He had no, nothing up, you know, no reason to even be in her space. And then you're going to take her life? Like, for what? <sighs> Let's see here. Mm -mm -mm. Mr. James Quill Cockerham. Okay, he's a black male. He has brown eyes and he's six feet. He's 180 pounds. His birthday is 12-3-1968. Um, let's see what else. Hmm. He is a prisoner. And he has earliest release date, life. Maximum discharge, discharge date, life. Okay, he has no scars. He has no tattoos. He go by a lot of aliases. Pharaoh, Poof, Street Soldier, James Cockerman, um, James Quill Cockerham, Street Soldier. Street Soldier, please. Let's see. Okay, sentence one was on criminal sexual conduct in the first degree. Okay. And that was um, the date of sentence was March 10th, 2020. 2020. Um, date of offense, 5-14-2019. Minimum sentence, 30 years. Maximum sentence, 60 years. Criminal sexual conduct in the second degree, multiple variables, 75 years, maximum 150 years, date of offense, May 14th, the date of the sentence was 3-10-2020. Okay, kidnapping, the same 75 years minimum, maximum 150 years, same date as the first two. Homicide, felony murder, life, life same date as the rest unlawful imprisonment um 75 years minimum maximum 150 years torture 75 years maximum sentencing 150 years homicide murder first degree premeditated minimum sentence is life maximum is life same as they as the others Whew. Prisons, prisoner possession of weapon, three years. Now, this is when he was in jail before the sentence eight. Three years, minimum, maximum 10 years. Date of offense, 
11 26 13 date of sentence was 11 26 14 okay sexual criminal sexual contact in the third degree that was his minimum sentence was six years maximum sentence 15 years date of offense 7 29 1999 date of sentencing was 12 05 2000 okay so the last one which was not which was the ninth sentence that was his plea and that was in the county of wayne sentence eight was the jury and that was in the county of jackson and sentence seven um his conviction type was jury and he was in the county of wayne for that one sentence eight conviction type jury the county wayne sentence five Um, did I say six? Conviction type jury, County Wayne. Sentence five, conviction type jury, um, County is Wayne. All right. Sentence four, also the jury as by conviction and Wayne County again. Sentence three, jury, that's the conviction type and the county was Wayne. And sentence two, the jury um, was the conviction type and county was wayne and number one was conviction type jury and that was in wayne county as well and that's those were all active um in the system okay so he has some inactive um stuff going on so let's talk about that because this is the type of person that's out on the street okay he took someone's life and he has a rap sheet so sentence one, unlawful driving away um, an automobile that happened in, well, County of Wayne and the conviction was a plea. His minimum years um, sentence was six months. His max was five. Date of offense, 6-23-1988. Date of the sentence, 124-1990. And he was dis discharged 3 one 1994 discharge reason order terminated continue an additional order okay sentence two the offense robbery armed okay the county wayne conviction type plea minimum sentence three years maximum 10 years date of offense 11 18 1989 date of the sentence 124 1990 discharge date 620 one 1999 discharge reason offender discharged okay so that is his whole system what his system is looking like okay so he is doing life for her murder but he has he should never be on the street he's a menace to society why was he out on the street with all this stuff going on you know it's crazy now a mother um now a mother has no daughter she has her other children but what mother wants to put their child to rest that's not how it's supposed to be that is not how it's supposed to be well and then he killed her and threw her in the garbage in the dumpster like she was trash come on I'm let me tell you something guys a lot of stuff is happening out here this story is a little you know it's a little bit older but it's just so many stuff it's so many stories like this out there and I have notebook file of a notebook full of stuff to talk to you guys about but I try to break it up in between you get what I'm saying because I'm all about real news and real gossip now I barely gossip on here <laughs> go figure but i like to bring the rail to y'all and you know thank you prebella for asking me to do this story this guy is off the chain okay but he's off the street and he will not be harming anyone else's child oh my goodness i tell you i would love to sit down with a i would love to sit down with, with a person like him or a serial killer and ask them this one question what goes through your mind? What makes you want to murder somebody? That's what I want to know. What makes you want to murder someone? Because you got to have something loose up there to even think about wanting to do that. You know, I could never take someone's life unless it's in self-defense. And I would even try to harm you as best as I can so that you can go to jail for trying to kill me. 
but I don't think I can take someone's life. Now, well, well, if it comes to my children, <laughs> it's a wrap. You're gone. Okay. But just to do it all willy nilly and stuff, I can't do that. Mm -mm, I can't. It takes a certain type of sick person to do that. Well, anyway, you guys, that is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed listening about Elizabeth Candy. Um, Oh, Laird, uh, it just it just hurts my heart that she went through that. You know, she was in the the building, a gated building, visiting her boyfriend. I don't think the boyfriend got a chance to see her because this guy snuck in the building. He had no business being in that gated built that gated community, and he decided to take her life. And I do believe he saw her and he followed her and he snuck in there. I do believe that, and he knew what he was going to do with her. Mm -mm -mm. you know still my prayers go out to the family her family because she she died by the hands of someone that is sick okay he's sick and he's awful and he belongs in jail and he's gonna be there for the rest of his life all right you guys that's all i got for you right now um if you have something interesting that you want me to talk about Please leave it in the comment section. I have no problem talking about it. You know, stories that you may heard. There's one that I'm definitely going to touch on. If I don't get a chance to do it tonight, it will definitely be up by tomorrow. Because it just happened and someone else asked me to do this story. Um, so, look up for that between tonight and tomorrow. Because the weekend, honey, I am not going to be online, okay? <laughs> Alright, you guys. Take it easy and I'll talk to you later.